What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be giving my uh, game day report for the Dolphins and Bills game today. Um, now, first order of business, one, um, happy Halloween. Uh, I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday. Uh, also, I'm probably not going to live stream um, during today's game. I'm going to be with my uh, with my little brother um, for Halloween and everything like that. I'm going to go trick-or-treating with him and stuff. So, yeah. Um... But with that out of the way, so Malcolm Brown has been put on IR, unfortunately. So we brought up Patrick Laird from the practice squad uh, to kind of fill that spot. Personally, I don't like that decision. Um, I know we picked up Duke Johnson. I didn't want to raise him up. But due to Malcolm Brown being our power back, I wanted to bring up Jared Dokes. Um... Just because, you know, he he's another power back, so he can kind of fill that role a little bit better. Patrick Laird is just another receiving back, which we already have with Ahmed and um, Gaskin. But, I don't know. I, I just thought that Dokes would be a natural replacement for um, Malcolm Brown, but whatever, I guess. Um, we also have brought up Vince Beagle and Jamal Perry for uh, today's game as well. For um, the injury report as well, but Jerome Baker is listed as questionable. He had limited participation in practice all week. Hopefully, he can go. Uh, no, even not gonna. He's apparently got a knee and ankle injury. He he would probably be inactive. Who cares? Um, that's probably why we picked up, why we signed up uh, Jamal Perry to just kind of fill that role. Uh, Greg Mance is still questionable, but Austin Reader, Greg Mance, it, it, it doesn't really matter. It's about the same as far as quality of center goes. Um, Devontae Parker, uh, he's questionable. He's he's always questionable. Hopefully he can go. Um, he's also had limited participation in practice all week, but at least he has been practicing. So hopefully we do get to see him. Um, as far as the Bills go, Spencer Brown. Their offensive tackle is doubtful, so uh, he, he's got a back injury and didn't participate in practice all week, so I don't think he's going to play. Uh, Dawson Knox is definitely out. Um, Justin Zimmer, their defensive tackle, uh, he had full, partici full participation in practice on Friday, so I think he'll probably play, even though he's listed as questionable. So we'll just have to see there. Um, now... Emmanuel Sanders and Cole Beasley have been on vet rest, I guess, this week. I don't know if they're going to play. I assume they will. So, I mean, we'll, we'll just have to see. But to be honest, I think we're probably going to get destroyed regardless. It, it just kind of is what it is. Um, let's see. We still haven't activated. Let me actually go to. ESPN rather than the actual Bills website. Because I guess they haven't updated their stuff on their website. Okay. So. Without Dawson Knox. Tommy Sweeney will be their next tight end. I actually remember him. Um couple drafts ago he, he was a really late round pick uh he was a decent player so we'll have to see there um but regardless i i don't i don't know if it really matters they, they have so many damn weapons and i just don't see us being able to stop them to be quite honest with you uh i don't really even know what we can even do against the bills um i kind of feel like this is probably going to be another murder like it was earlier in the season unfortunately um it, it's just kind of what we're facing at this point so we'll just have to get through it i suppose this season's basically done um that's also why i wanted to see dokes play because again i think our season's done and i already know i don't like patrick laird <laughs> um i'd rather see dokes and kind of get an idea of what he can do um and like i said 
we have Gaskin and Ahmed to be our receiving back and you know quick shifty guy. I would have rather have Dokes come up and kind of fill Malcolm Brown's power back role, but whatever. <laughs> I think that's a stupid decision by them. Uh, maybe they just know that we're not going to be able to run the ball against the Bills, so that's why they're doing it. Who knows? But regardless, um, it's going to be. It's going to be a rough game. Um, I don't really see how things will be very different this this time. Hopefully we do something different with the offensive line. I hope that we don't have... Um, I hope we don't have Jesse Davis out there. Again... This week, because, I mean, that's how Tua got hurt the first time was Jesse Davis. So, that just is what that is. Um, apparently, Preston Williams is listed as out on ESPN. On the Dolphins' website, he's listed as questionable, but he's out on ESPN's website. So, I don't know. Um, that's interesting. So I guess Albert Wilson would play over him, and hopefully we actually get him some touches because as I as I seen um, with the Tua video I did a couple weeks ago, and also watching the film myself as well this week, um, he's getting open a lot more than he's actually being thrown to. So hopefully we actually get him the ball. But uh, yeah. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.